Hi everybody, Matt Dorothy with S101 and today I'm going to show you a little device that I use when I'm out in wet weather for my camera gear. This is a silica or desiccant pack. It's an aluminium tin with punctured holes and a little screen. And inside it's got your regular household silica or desiccant that's included with many uh, packages you get through the post, clothing, things like that and what these do is absorb moisture. Now usually these are clear but what you can do is buy packs like that. This is a 500 gram pack of silica desiccant and it's got an orange dye in it. And what happens is when this is absorbed moisture it slowly starts turning green and at that point what you can do is dry it out and then reuse it again. So it's a really really useful bit of kit. Now inside here this is the same stuff it's dyed orange and it's got a little window here and what that does is once it's absorbed as much moisture as it can it turns green and you can see that by again looking through the screen and then what you do is you put this in the oven reactivate when green two hours at 280 Fahrenheit which is about 100 degrees C reactivate when green two hours so what you do is again you just put it in the oven and once it turns green it's ready to go again so uh, I got this from Amazon and this was £10 quite a bit of money that what's inside here is actually 40 grams of this stuff now this is £10 with 40 grams that's 500 grams at 5.79 so it's you know you, you can already see where I'm going here can't you 500 grams at 5.79 or 40 grams at £10 for that so I've had, uh, I've had a comment from a uh, good subscriber Benighted Billy uh, good to have you mate uh, asking whether it's good stuff whether it actually does what it says it does so what being as though I've actually got the desiccant in all different stages I'm going to show you a close up of this because it's really uh, got as much as it can out of this it's really really green here I've got some that's about halfway and they've got some that's brand new that's not been used so I'm going to show you this close up show you how green it is and then what I'm going to do is put this in the oven and I'll show you what happens with it so uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you quickly this is my pack that I keep my camera in and what it does, it goes in here with my camera, uh, just in any of these slots down here. And then, if the, this has got wet for any reason, what I do is wipe it all down, and then I put it in the pack along with this. And then this will draw out any moisture, and it'll stop any any problems with my camera. So this stays in here with that, and makes sure there's no problems with the electronics whatsoever. Okay, so I'll just before I do anything, I'll just show you what my uh, alternative is going to be. So here you have just a tin, all punctured in with some silica inside. These tins are just regular tobacco tins. Uh, you can get them 50p, pound, 150 depending on where you go, car boots, online, shops. So that's just a regular tin. I've got a pin, front shed, a regular little nail, really small nail tin. And I've got it in the blue tack just so I don't lose it. Good tip that with needles or anything, just keep it in, a, in there. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm going to punch the holes in, because this this will flex and end up uh, deforming. What I've done is just carved a little block so it'll fit nice and snug. <laughs> it fits nice and snug. There you go. That'll fit nice and slug, so when, once I actually punch holes in this, it won't bend the, the metal down. So it'll be a nice solid block. And what I'm going to do is just punch holes, just like this is, through my tin, fill it with some silica, put some ranger bands on top, and then I could do a screen, but there's really no need to because I can just take the bands off, open it up, and see what kind of condition my desiccant's in. So, well, uh, I'll give you a quick close up of the different colours and then I'll get started with this. Okay, you can just see there, see how green that is? That's got as much as it can. That's it, it's last stage of absorbing. So there we have the green. Here we have a, a just a change going on. You can see the green in with the orange. That's about halfway through. And then naturally this is your see the difference there look. So it goes really dark but then it goes as light as this, but green, if you know what I mean, in, inside here. 
So there's the different changes. There's the different stages. What I'm going to do now is just put that in the oven and hopefully they'll be able to see the difference when uh, it comes out. And while I'm doing that I'll be making my little tin, making my own. And then we should should be about right as we finish. Okay so now starts the task of putting all the holes in. Again I've just got a little tack pin here. Just thinking about it, what this is is one of those little pins that, that's used for the hooks on mirrors or hanging pictures or anything like that. You get that little brass hook with a little hole in it and usually a pin. That's the size I'm using. I can't tell you how any specs on it but Okay, so they go through pretty quick, really easy. You get the idea, what I'm going to do is go up and down, up and down, and uh, we'll go from there. Moving through pretty quick though, no problem. Another one. So we're going there now. I don't think there's any need to put them on size of it on the uh, on the other tin, but I'll just do again. Same on the top. I'll just fit another line in there. I think. Through a lot easier on, t on top. I don't know. I think we've got two different materials here. It looks like copper. It's really going through quick, man. Well, really easy. Ow. Ow. What are you doing? So we have a nice tin there. And all I want to do is fill that with me. That's a good. Very carefully. No reason for these being in here. I just always save them whenever I get them. The silica packs. This is a nightmare if you spill it, so I'll have to be careful with this. Okay, so nice and full there. And then, oh, this is your regular bicycle linen tube put into strips, commonly known as Ranger Bands. This way it's very secure, plus there's no need for a window because again you can set that up, open it up and see what condition it's in. Obviously take these off if you put it in the oven. Shouldn't be too bad at 100 degrees, but you never know. Okay, so in theory, I've got exactly the same thing there for oh, cutting it down about a pound. That's cost really, when you consider the price of the desk and compared to the other one at 40 grams and that at 500 grams. You know how much you're saving there, really. This can be used. I don't know how many times I've used that other, that really big pot full, this full. I've used it about 10 times, it's gone from orange to green and it's still working fine so you think you can use that 
at least 10 times and if the desiccant does start to degrade or if it does wear out throw it away look how much extra you've got here ready to make you can make what say I bet you can make up to 10 of them really and there's a lot more than 40 grams in there there must be 80 to 100 well actually thinking about it I bet there's about 100 grams in there compared to that 40 gram one so you get 5 5 out of this at 5 tries times 10 50 packs you know it's, it's, it's mounting up there's a massive saving to be made making your own like that and again the applications for this but what they say for that other tin is you put it in the corner you know if you get your windows you get a bit of condensation in the corners and a bit of damp what they say is just put that in the corner and it absorbs all that and gets rid on it so there's it there's one you can use it to absorb food you can use it in the same way as I do with my camera pack and make sure there's no moisture in your electronic equipment you can put it in with torches batteries cameras you know there's a massive massive area you can, I don't think clothing would be a good idea it in with clothing because wet clothing would have so much moisture to be practically useless. I think anyway, you know, it's, it's one of them things you try. Uh, looking at this, I've just thought a bit of thick plastic cut out, uh, drill through this way, bigger one, and just super glue it on. You could make a little screen on there if you wanted to. Again, I don't feel the need because you can just take this up and open it up, there's no need to. But if you want to get more creative, then that's something to do. So Oh no, I mean you could put more around the site as well. But what I will say right now is this desiccant will absorb moisture from anywhere. So when it's not in use, it's important that it goes in a bag, an airtight bag. Otherwise it'll turn green within a couple of days because it'll just be absorbing moisture from the air. So always make sure you've got a bag to put it in. This is the one I use for the other one. And then when it needs using, open up the bag, put it in, and there you go. So, I think we're about there with that. Um, I'll put the links in the description for where I got the desiccant. That was the cheapest place. It's always, it always will be the cheapest place and the best place in my uh, in my recommendations. But again, these can be picked up anywhere. And what I think I'll do now is. Well, I'll have to wait. I've not. I've, not, I've only been in about half an hour, so I'll have to wait another half an hour and then get me desk and tart it over. Chris, we've had an hour, and as you can see, the uh, stuff that I've bought has turned really bright again, just like the stuff you get. But you can tell from here that's still green, and that's the fourth time I've reactivated this. And it's still green, so I don't know what to make of that. Thinking about it, that's uh, it's probably used up as much as it's going to do. I think that's probably shot now. So there's something for you. Uh, about four, and you've had it with one of them. And I'm, it's no word of a lie. This has been used minimum of ten times. I bet that's about the twelfth time I've reactivated that and it's been perfect. I mean look at it. So there you go. As a matter of fact, don't get one of them. They're overpriced and it looks like they've shot. In fact if you look on the Amazon it does actually say, a couple of them do say that they've dried it out and it's remained green. And I, I dismissed them because I reactivated it a couple of times with no problems. But there you go. As a matter of fact, you're better off doing it this way. So, there you go. Right, so there you go guys. If you're looking for a, a silica pack or a desiccant tin or things like that, and you, you're thinking about moisture within your kit, putting one of them together, it's, no, it's cost 5 79 for that. And a, say a pound for a tin. And the regular use you'll get out on it you'll get your money back tenfold I think so after doing this I recommend putting one together yourself or just carrying some of these you know just collect them and remember to keep them in, in your kit but I was going to recommend one of these but now I can't because 
four tries with that's not enough. Not for ten pound, no way. So any questions on this give me a shout. Hope you like what you've seen and I hope you can benefit from it. Take care guys, there you go.